Sunrise in California. At the Rail Systems Factory in Sacramento, work begins. In 2010, Amtrak ordered 70 electric locomotives for its Northeast Corridor. The contract's value? 466 million U.S. dollars. Here in Sacramento, the first Siemens locomotives are being built for the U.S. market. Seven hundred and twenty Siemens employees work at the rail systems factory in Sacramento. Electricians, welders, engineers, and many more. The place no longer builds just city trains and trams, however, but electric locomotives as well. Is this America's rail renaissance? You know, we have people visit us quite often, suppliers, people from the community, and they step into our manufacturing area and they say, wow, we still build that in the United States? And we said, yeah, we do, and we're doing it world class. In the summer of 2013, the first three locomotives underwent a practice trial. Now, regular operations are starting. The last electric locomotives are due to be delivered to Amtrak at the end of 2015. They have up to 6.4 megawatt of power in operation with up to 18 cars per train. That enables a top speed of 125 miles per hour. Most of our locomotive power here in the United States is diesel electric locomotives. So building electric locomotives for Amtrak uh, gave us uh, a technology that we had proven in Europe and were able to marry this great workforce together to do here. People all over the country are contributing toward the modernization of Amtrak's locomotive fleet in the Northeast Corridor. The Boston-Washington connection ranks as one of the busiest rail traffic links in the U.S. With the new locomotives, thanks to faster sequences, Amtrak can transport more passengers along the same route. The locomotives fulfill the Federal Railroad Administration's very latest safety requirements. Building locomotives on the West Coast for insertion on the East Coast with a myriad of suppliers all across the country. In fact, there are 70 different suppliers in 23 different states that all contributed to that. It is an American-built locomotive, and we're proud of that fact. Oh, there's definitely a lot of pride. I mean, I, I wake up feeling good knowing that we build a quality product, and, uh, and I'm sure all my coworkers feel the same way. Railroad construction in Sacramento has a long tradition. The California State Railroad Museum certainly testifies to that. The locomotives here are up to 100 years old. Siemens is continuing a tradition that has existed in Sacramento for about 150 years now of building, maintaining, and servicing rail equipment. And in this case, they do it for customers all over the globe. One of America's great strengths that began with the Industrial Revolution is our capacity for heavy work and to manufacture things. The shops here are a perfect example of that. When these were built, there were no manufacturing facilities in the West. If you wanted something made of iron, that was bigger than a horseshoe, you sent away to the east for it because that's where manufacturing was. Suddenly, the railroad had a need for this and, and rather than incur the cost of shippings, they built heavy industry in Sacramento. The Siemens factory in Sacramento proves that trains are back in fashion in the U.S. But what will the future bring? In five years, I would like to be here working on high-speed rail. Right. Railroads are vital to this nation today. Even if we don't think so, they're, they're hum humming along in the background, but everything that we do is affected by rail transport. Every time we have a train ship here, we take a break, we stop, we listen to it as it pulls out of here, and everybody's standing shoulder to shoulder. All those different backgrounds, all those different skills, watching the train leave here. It's, it's exciting. <laughs>